So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can bring duffel bags online from the DM glitch. So to get it started, make sure in single player, you've already eaten a bird peyote. If you guys have already eaten a bird peyote inside a single player before, then you don't got to do it again. But if you've never done the DM glitch before, or if you've never eaten a bird peyote inside a single player, make sure you eat a bird peyote before you start. Once you guys have eaten your bird peyote, just come inside single player. Once you're inside single player, open up your interaction menu and just go inside of director mode. Once inside of director mode, go to shortlist actors. Once you're inside shortlist actors, from here, you're gonna hit either Y or triangle, and that's gonna remove all your shortlist actors. So just come inside of shortlist actors and hit either Y or triangle, and that's gonna remove all your shortlist actors. Once you guys remove all your shortlist actors, just go to actors, click on animals, and from here, you're gonna hit either Y or triangle to shortlist the bird that you ate earlier. So hit either Y or triangle, and it's going to shortlist the bird that you're going to be using for the glitch. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Y and it's going to shortlist the bird. Once you guys shortlist the bird you're going to be using for the glitch, just go ahead and back out. Go to online characters and you're going to hit either Y or triangle again to shortlist your online character. So just hit either Y or triangle and it's going to shortlist your online character. Once you guys shortlist your online character and your bird, just go ahead and back out and exit to story mode. Once you guys get loaded back inside of single player, from here, just go ahead and make your way inside of the online session. Once you guys get loaded inside of an online session, just go ahead and make your way over to any clothing store. So it doesn't matter, just make your way over to any clothing store. Once you guys come inside the clothing store, just come up to this lady right here. You're gonna go to the red racing suit. Not a red racing suit, my fault. You're gonna go to the racing suits and then you're gonna buy the red racing suit. So just come to this lady, hit right D-pad, look for the racing suits and buy the red racing suit. So right here, racing suits and buy the red racing suit. So this one right here. Once you guys buy it, just go ahead and save it. So just go ahead and buy it. And once you buy it, just go ahead and save it. So I have mine saved inside my first slot. So I'm gonna try and show you guys real quick. So right here, I saved it inside my first slot. So once you guys buy the red racing suit, just go ahead and save it. Once you guys have saved it, just go ahead and go to the standard outfits and just buy the first standard outfit. So I'm just gonna use the sunbather for this example. So buy any standard outfit, but I'm gonna be using the sunbather. You can also use that if you want to. Once you guys have bought that, just go ahead and equip it. Once you guys equip it, open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and make sure you have no accessories on your character. So make sure on the accessories, all of it says none. Make sure you got no accessories on your character. Now from here, you want to stay inside your interaction menu, go to your hide options, and make sure the jobs are on custom. So come to your hide options, go to your jobs, and make sure it's on custom. If it's on hide, it's not going to show the blue circles on the map, so make sure it's on custom so you see all the little blue circles on the map. Once you guys see the blue jobs around the map, just go ahead and back out your interaction menu, hit your pause button, open up your map, and you want to look for this job right here that's going to be near LS Customs, so this is what it's called right here, and it's going to be a parachuting job. So high overheads, just go ahead and hit either X or square to start it. So just hover over it and just hit either X or square to start the job up. Once you guys get inside of here, just go ahead and confirm the settings. And once you get fully loaded in, just go ahead and play the job by yourself. Once you guys get to this point right here, don't touch anything inside the settings. All you're going to do is just wait in here for about 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, you're just going to go ahead and quit the job. So just wait in here for about 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, just go ahead and quit the job. Alright, so I think it's been close to 10 seconds, and I'm just going to go ahead and quit the job.
once you guys get loaded inside of your online session just go ahead and get either an oppressor mark one mark two or any type of helicopter so you can also use your ceo buzzard if you have one or um any type of helicopter i guess so if you guys don't have a mark one mark two or a helicopter i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where to get free helicopters from so just get either your mark one mark two or any helicopter and like i said if you guys don't have it if you guys don't have any of those I'm gonna go ahead and show you where you can get a free helicopter from. So if you guys come right here, it should be free helicopters over here. So if you don't got a Mark I, Mark II, or helicopter, just make your way over to this location right here on the map. And it should be at least one free helicopter right here waiting for you. Once you guys have got your helicopter or your Mark I or your Mark II, just make your way over to the mask shop that's near the beach. Once you guys are over here at the beach, all you're gonna do is just simply hop out your helicopter or your oppressor and just go ahead and pull out your parachute. Once you pull up your parachute or pull out your parachute, I guess, open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, and from here, just go ahead and hover over the racing suit outfit that I told you guys to save earlier. So when you guys are about to land, all you're going to do is go ahead and equip the outfit once your character starts taking off his parachute. So once you guys land, when your character starts taking off his parachute, just go ahead and equip the outfit. Just like that. Once you equip the outfit, just go ahead and make your way over to the mask shop and just go ahead and buy the mask that I'm going to be showing you guys. So just come over here to the mask shop. When you guys come over here, just come right here to the mask. Go ahead and hit right D-pad. So I'm just going to wait for the little thing to pop up. Once it pops up, just go ahead and make your way over to the um, Diamond Casino Heist mask. So right here should be number five, Diamond Casino Heist. And just buy the um, mask that I'm going to be buying. So this one right here, the Grey Neck Gator, just go ahead and buy this mask right here. So once you guys have got that, just go ahead and make your way over to the time trial. So for this week, the time trial is going to be right here. Depending on what time you guys see the video, the time trial might be somewhere else because they change every Thursday, I think. So depending on what time you guys see the video, it might be somewhere else. And make sure you use the regular time trial, not the RC Bandito time trial. So just go ahead and make your way over to the time trial, wherever it's at for you on the map. Alright, so once you guys have got out your car, just go ahead and go into the time trial, hit right D-pad to start it. Once you start it, just go ahead and hold down on your D-pad and go into single player. So let's come inside the time trial, just go ahead and hit right D-pad to start it. Once you start it up, just go ahead and hold down on your D-pad and switch to any story mode character. Alright, so once you guys get loaded inside of single player, just open up your interaction menu and just go into director mode. Alright, so once you guys are inside of director mode, go to shortlist actors. So what you're going to do once you guys are in shortlist actors is put a royal band on your controller or find a way to hold down your L stake and you're going to just let it go in between your online character and your bird and what you should see happening is your bird start to duplicate so just find a way to hold down your l stake for me i'm going to be using a rubber band to hold it down so just go ahead and find a way to hold down your l stake and you're just going to let it go in between your um, online character and your bird for me i'm just going to be using a rubber band to hold it down so just i don't know find a way to hold it down and what you're looking for is your online character to go on top of the haystack and that's going to take about 20 to like 25 minutes maybe 30 minutes so just let it go in between your online character and your bird. And what you're looking for is your online character to go on top of the haystack. So I'm just going to be back once our online character is on top of our haystack. And while you guys are waiting, just go ahead and make sure you catch up on some of the old videos. And I'm going to be back when our online character is on top of the haystack. So this right here is what you guys are looking for. You want your online character to be on top of the haystack. If your online character goes back inside the trailer, just go back in between your online character and your bird just like this, and then your online character should go back on top of the haystack. Once your online character is on the haystack, just go ahead and go back, go to actors, 
Now from here, I'm only gonna suggest you stick to beach bumps or emergency services. If you're new to the DM glitch, just use only beach bumps and emergency services. If you know what you're doing, you can try the other options, but if you're new, just go in between only beach bumps and emergency services. So click on either beach bum or emergency services. And once you get inside of here, you wanna hit either X or square. If you're on PlayStation, you wanna hit square. If you're on Xbox, you wanna hit X. And this is gonna be giving you a whole bunch of glitched out outfits. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how you can save the duffel bag and take it online. So it's gonna be two ways. I'm gonna suggest you guys do the second method, but it's all up to you. So the first method is you just keep on hitting X or square and you find the um, duffel bag that you want. And as always, you wanna make sure that that outfit has a Christmas mask on it. If it doesn't have a Christmas mask on it, you're not gonna be able to take it online. So that's gonna be the first method. Just keep hitting either square or X until you find a duffel bag you want. And once you find that duffel bag, make sure it has a Christmas mask on it. And once you find that outfit with a Christmas mask and a duffel bag, just hit either Y or triangle to shortlist it. So that's gonna be the first method. And now I'm gonna go ahead and explain the second method, which I'm gonna um, recommend you guys do, which is gonna be freezing the Christmas mask. So for this method, you wanna go ahead and find any outfit with a Christmas mask on it. So I'm just gonna be back once we find an outfit that has a Christmas mask on it. Once you guys find the outfit with a Christmas mask on it, just hit either Y or triangle to shortlist that outfit. So I'm gonna be back once we find an outfit that has a Christmas mask on it. And also make sure that um, your outfit only has one Christmas component on it. If it has a Christmas mask and a Christmas sweater or a Christmas scarf, the glitch is not gonna work. So as you guys can see, I found an outfit with a Christmas mask on it. So once you find your outfit with a Christmas mask on it, just hit either Y or triangle to shortlist it. Once you guys shortlist the outfit, just go ahead and go back, go to shortlist actors. And from here, you're gonna hit Y or triangle to remove your online character and your bird. So just hit either Y or triangle and that's gonna remove your online character and your bird. Once you remove your online character and your bird, just go back to actors, go to beach bumps or emergency services and just hit either X or square and your character should appear. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to freeze the Christmas mask. And there goes the white duffel bag right there. All right, so to freeze the Christmas mask, all you gotta do is go to shortlist actors, hover over it, and then you wanna go to actors, go to beach bumps or emergency services, and then hit either X or square on appearance for about three or four times. And that's how you freeze the Christmas mask. Now, earlier I did it, it took me about 15 minutes to freeze it, so that's how you freeze the Christmas mask right there. So just go to shortlist actors, hover over it, go to actors, go to beach bumps or emergency services, and then just hit either X or square on any one of these options. And another problem that you guys have is when you go to your shortlist actors, when you go back to beach bumps or emergency services, right now I'm hitting um, X and my outfit is not changing. If this happens to you right here, where your outfit isn't changing when you're hitting square or X, just go to a different option and your outfit should change. Just like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys a few more times before I skip ahead to where I actually freeze the Christmas mask. So this right here is how you freeze the Christmas mask. Go to shortlist actors, go to actors, beach bombs, whichever option you're gonna be using and just hit either square or X three to four times to check if your Christmas mask is frozen. If it's not frozen, just go back to shortlist actors and just repeat that whole process again. It's not that hard. It usually takes me about 15 or 20 minutes to freeze the Christmas mask. Once you guys get the muscle memory down for it, you can go a little bit faster, but don't go way too fast where you start clicking random outfits. Also, if you go inside, um, if you go inside direct mode by accident, just return back into the casting trailer and you should be good to go. So if your Christmas mask is not frozen, just go and repeat these same steps over and over again. So just go to shortlist actors, go to actors, beach bombs, and just say either square or X, and then just keep on repeating that process over and over. So I'm just gonna show you guys a few more times before I actually go ahead and cut the video out to where I freeze the Christmas mask. As you guys can see right here, I've frozen my Christmas mask. And I know this Christmas mask is different from what you guys saw earlier. And that's because the first outfit that I was doing, the um, Christmas mask, I froze it like four times and it kept on freezing. And then the second time I got my armor stuck instead. And also the time trials, I switched locations. So I'm not sure if it had anything to um, do with the glitch or if it messed it up. But I started all over again, and as you can see, I've frozen my Christmas mask. So right now, I'm just looking for a duffel bag that I want to take online. I already got the white ones from a while ago. Not a while ago, but a few hours ago. And I'm looking for either a green one or like a pink one. If I can't find any of them, I'm just going to go ahead and take any random duffel bag online. So you can also go through most of these options right here. So I'm just going to go through all the options inside Beach Bums. And I'm going to go and, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the options that you can go through inside Emergency Services. 
so these are all the options right here in beach bombs and then if you go to emergency services you can use all of them except for lsfd and the only thing that lsfd is going to do is change the colors of like your top and your pants so you don't really need lsfd but you can use most of these options right here inside um emergency services and um beach bombs so i'm just going to go ahead and go back into beach bombs and try and find a duffel bag that i want to take online And like I said earlier, this is the second method. So if you don't want to freeze the Christmas mask, you don't have to. Just go ahead and try and look for an outfit that has a duffel bag and um, a Christmas mask on it. Because I have found some outfits with a duffel bag on it and a Christmas mask without freezing the Christmas mask. But this is the second method where you freeze a Christmas mask. So it's all up to you what you guys want to do. So now I'm just going to go ahead and look for um, a duffel bag that I want to take online. And also, once you guys do find the outfit that you want to take online or the duffel bag that you guys want to take online, just go ahead and hit either triangle or Y to shortlist it. So I'm just going to go ahead and look for mine real quick. So once you guys have found the duffel bag you're trying to take online, you're just going to go ahead and hit either Y or triangle to shortlist it. So make sure you shortlist it or you're not going to be able to take your outfit online. So hit either Y or triangle to shortlist the outfit with the duffel bag on it. Once you've shortlisted it, just go to your shortlist actors, go ahead and click A or X on the outfit that has the duffel bag on it, and just take it into director mode. Once you guys get inside of director mode, you're just going to wait in here for about 15, about maybe like 10 to 15 seconds. So just wait inside director mode for about 10 to 15 seconds. Alright, so once it's been about 10 to 15 seconds, just hold down on your D-pad and switch to any story mode character. Once you guys are inside of single player, you're just going to go ahead and wait in here for about another 10 to 15 seconds. Once you think it's been about 10 to 15 seconds, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and just go inside of an invite only session. All right, so when you guys get a little inside of your online session, you should notice that you have no duffel bag on, and that's because I lied to you guys. So make sure you still share the video and like it. So that's going to be it for today's video. Oh, exactly, I'm just fucking with y'all. Once you guys get spawned inside your session, you're either going to have your duffel bag on or a parachute on. So if you got a parachute on just like me, just go ahead and register as a CEO. Once you register as a CEO, go to your um, management, go to your management styles, and you're just going to hit right and then left. So just go to your um, management styles and just hit right on your D-pad and then left on your D-pad and then you should have the duffel bag on your outfit. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to save it. So go get either um, an oppressor, Mark 1 or Mark 2 or, or a helicopter. And I already showed you guys where to get free helicopters from. So just go ahead and get either a Mark 1, Mark 2 or a helicopter. So now the first thing that we're going to do is just go ahead and save this outfit and to do that just go ahead and make your way towards the beach and like i said make sure from this point on you have either a helicopter so a ceo buzzer is also going to work either a helicopter a mark one or a mark two and if you guys don't know where to get free helicopters from it should be like um right here somewhere go to this location right here and you're going to get some free helicopters over here if you don't have a mark one or a mark two but anyway, once you guys have got that, just go ahead and make your way over to the um, beach near the mask shop. Once you guys get over here, all you're going to do is just hop out your oppressor or your Mark 
two. I hope that does not go inside the water. But just go ahead and hop out your um, Mark one or your Mark two, and all you're gonna do from this point on is parachute in front of the mask shop. Once you guys get in front of the mask shop, all you're gonna do is spam right D-pad to save your outfit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now. Just go ahead and parachute in front of the mask shop. And once you get in front of it, just spam right D-pad. So something like this, go ahead and start spamming right D-pad. And once you um, get a little menu in here, just go ahead and save your outfit. All right, just like that. And I'm gonna show you guys how you um, transfer the duffel bag onto other outfits. Like I said in that last clip, now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to transfer the duffel bag over to a different outfit. And the only reason why I'm not using this duffel bag is because I accidentally deleted it. And also when I did transfer it over to a different outfit, it actually wouldn't show on the outfit, but it would say that I had a duffel bag on there. So to get this started, you wanna go ahead and equip the outfit, but make sure you guys do save the duffel bag first though. So once you guys have already saved the duffel bag, just go ahead and equip the outfit that um, you wanna put the duffel bag onto, go to any ammunition or a gun store, go to the parachute, go to parachute bags and buy the Israel parachute bag. So first just go ahead and equip the outfit that you wanna put that duffel bag on, go to ammunition, Go to the parachute and buy the um, Israel parachute bag. You guys are going to see it in the video that I'm going to show you. Once you guys have bought the um, Israel parachute bag, just go ahead and back out. Open up your interaction menu. Go to your styles and then it should say parachute. And then you want to go ahead and make sure that you got the parachute bag on your outfit. Once you guys have got the parachute bag on your outfit, just go ahead and save that outfit. Once you guys have saved that outfit, just go ahead and open up your interaction menu and select the outfit that already got the duffel bag on there. Once you've done that, you want to get either your Mark 1, Mark 2, or a helicopter, and you want to go to the beach near the mask store. Once you guys are at the mask store, just go ahead and gain some height. Once you guys have got enough height, just go ahead and jump out of your oppressor or your helicopter, and just go ahead and pull out your parachute. Once you guys pull out your parachute, open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, and you just want to hover over the outfit that you're transferring that duffel bag to. Once your character lands on the floor and it's about to take the parachute off, just go ahead and select the outfit that you want to transfer the duffel bag over to, and the duffel bag should transfer over to that outfit. Now we're just going to go ahead and save that outfit. So to save that outfit, just get back on your um, Mark II, Mark I, or helicopter. Once you guys have gained enough fight, you're just going to go ahead and hop out of either your helicopter or your oppressor. Once you guys hop out the oppressor or the helicopter, you're just gonna go ahead and parachute towards the mask door. Once you guys land in front of the mask door, just start spamming right D-pad. So make sure you land in front of the mask door and just spam right D-pad. Once it lets you guys inside the little menu, just go ahead and save your outfit. Once you save your outfit, just go ahead and um, close the menu, come out of it, open up your interaction menu, and your outfit should have your duffel bag on it once you select it. So the um, audio might not sync up with the um, clip, but you guys are still going to see how to transfer the duffel bag. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it, share, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss out on future GTA 5 videos and glitches.